Hey, it's Mr. Lineski here with the Top 5 and Under 5 Unit 3 Angle Relationships review video where I go over the top 5 things you need to know to prepare yourself for your Unit 3 test. So let's get started with number 1, knowing all that vocabulary. So very quickly, we'll take a look here at a quick couple examples of the vocab. Uh, we have alternate interior angles. It's when they are inside the parallel lines and alternating sides of the transversal. We have alternate exteriors uh, outside the two parallel lines and alternating sides of the transversal. We have corresponding angles, that is when they match positions. So an example here would be angle 1 and angle 5. Taking a look at same side interiors, that is when two angles are interior and on the same side of the transversal, such as 4 and 6. We have same side exteriors, that is when angles are outside the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal, such as 2 and 8. And then don't forget our friends from unit 1, linear pairs such as 7 and 8, and vertical angles such as 1 and 4. Number two, make sure you know those facts. These two facts are always true, even if the lines are not parallel. And those two facts are our friends again from unit one. Vertical angles are always congruent, meaning they have the same measurement. And linear pairs always add up to 180 degrees, meaning they are supplementary, even if the lines are not parallel. But what about when those lines are parallel? Make sure you know these relationships. Um, anytime we were setting up the problems, there were two things that happened. We either set them equal to each other, or we added them together and set them equal to 180. So when do we do what? Well, we set things equal to each other when they are alternate interiors, alternate exteriors, corresponding, or vertical. And then we add and set equal to 180 if they are same side interiors, same side exteriors, or linear pairs. And as a friendly reminder from, pro, from number two, vertical and linear pair work even when the lines are not parallel. Number four, don't be a dope, know your slope. Make sure you remember that parallel slopes, the slopes are exactly the same. And in perpendicular slopes, we have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. So for a quick example, if I told you that the slope of a line was two-thirds, the parallel slope would also be two-thirds. The perpendicular slope, we flip that and change the sign, would be negative three-halves. And finally, if we're proving lines parallel, please do not forget to include your converses. So that is a very important concept when it comes to proofs. So those are our top five things that you should know for Unit 3. Thank you for watching. I know it, and now you know it.